Tozamu kwa kwa mkulu sabi za sendo tulesu kwa kwa chine mbati na mtani si kuluma ngezila ye mandu talking about uh, what, what do you do? What, what must you do? You know, the question has always been Koko, uh, what must I do for me to have uh, money? I need money. Guys, money is everything. You know, yes, I, I hear people say, you know, money will never make you happy and everything. And will be broke make you happy? No, it won't. So money is everything. Let's face that. Let's not be afraid to say, I need money I, 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 so that I can be happy. Uh, but today we are talking about Inzilaimad. What must I do, Goko, for me to have this money? You need to have a relationship with money. How do I do that, Goko? How do I go about it, Goko? When you have money, don't allow money to go past you. Don't be a, a passage for money. Don't be a middleman for money. It is money, it is you, it is things that you need to pay for. Don't allow that. If you are if you are exposing yourself into that, you'll never have money. I'm not talking about being rich, having millions and everything. If, if I have thousand rand in my pocket, I'm happy. I'm happy because I have something in me. It's not about uh, having millions and everything. If you have something that will enable you to survive, to live the life that you want to live, that is enough. We are not talking millions here. We're not talking lotto here. We're not talking miracles. We're not talking Himalayan shy. We're not talking uh, lies here uh, uh, about uh, these people. But uh, uh, you'll sleep with uh, 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 nothing. You'll wake up having two hundred thousand in a house. No, we're not talking about that uh, fiction. We're talking reality. Make sure that you always keep money with you. There's something that we do with a 200 rand note when you come in, go salga send out to Koko Batini Mbata, whereby CI7 is a so that imali inga punyuk. But that is the multi part of things. But here I want to give you tips in terms of even if you are far, even if you are far, you must know Oguti how to keep money. Let's say you're owing somebody uh, 100 rand and you've promised them to give the, the 100 rand. Um, maybe month end it's not month end as yet and you have the hundred dollar already what must you do it's a second of july you owing somebody you said you'll pay them at the end of july and you already have money what do you do i will say don't pay them you will pay them on the time you've promised them, you'll pay them, which is month end. So, Coco, must I spend money? Or maybe must I go and use this money to make another money? No, don't do that. Coco, what must I do? Keep it. Sounds strange, eh? Keep it. But Coco, what if I take it, I buy something that will make me money and everything? What if you buy something and that money does not come back? What then? What are you going to tell this person? They are no longer reliable. You are no longer being honest. You have promised them that you pay them month and, and you already have the money. And you didn't pay them and you took the money, you have used it. So what you must you do? You keep it. Until when, Gok? Until month and then you pay them. But what's the difference, Gok? The difference is that you are forming a relationship with money. Money goes where there is money. If you have 100 rands in your pocket, chances of you having another 10 rand on top of that or 20 rand are very huge. Chances are that you've got, there are more chances of having money than you don't have money in your hands and you have somebody that you need to pay. So, Money is a plant. Money is made out of plant called mint. Money. It's a plant. It's a plant. Money is multi. As soon as you understand that, that money is multi, money is a plant. So if money is a plant, if you keep this plant called money in your body, automatically you are attracting more money to come your direction. Let's learn to save.
But this is not just your 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 your, your saving to say, okay, I, I want hundred rand gogo, uh, I want to get another hundred rand, another hundred rand because I'm saving for whatever. I'm not talking about that savings. I'm talking about lifetime relationship with money. I, I always keep coins in, 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 in my car. I, I always you in my car you'll always find coins. In my house, you'll always find coin. In my house, wherever I am, you'll always find money. It's not a lot of money. Maybe it's 10 rand, 50 rand, 100 rand, you know, two 10 rands, 50 rands, uh, coins and everything. But you will always find money. Wherever I am, there is money. It's not a lot of money. I'm not rich. It's not a lot of money. But that little bit, like for now, the only money that I have is 100 rand. So, I'm going to keep this 100 rand. No matter what, I'm going to keep it. And I have made a commitment that if I have the last 100 rand, I'm going to keep it until there is more. Then I can use it for what I need, not what I want, from what is needed. So, it's a commitment that I've made. Woody. I'm, I, I want to always have money in me. And having a hundred rand to me, I, I feel so happy. Th this is what I have between me and, and poverty. This is what I have at this moment. But I am so happy. Because why, Koku, you're so happy? It's just a mere hundred rand. No, it's not a mere hundred rand. It means, because I always have money with me. It, it doesn't have to be millions. But I do have money. Maybe this sounds confusing. Coco, you're talking about money. You, 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 I mean, Coco, I don't need 100 rand. No, I can't pay for my car. My car is about to be repossessed and everything, blah, 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 blah. But if you, if you sit down and write your budget and then you can realize what you, you actually have money. You actually can afford to pay for a car. But it's just that you, 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 you have this habit of getting paid and go and pay. Having paid and go and pay. But imagine having paid and keep the money with you. Then pay. There's a difference. Let's say you are earning on the 20, you're getting paid on the 25th and your debit orders are on the 25th. Change your debit order to four for month end. Because even in the bank, as long as you do have that money in your name, it's yours. It's on your it's in your name. It's in your bank account. It's yours. I I I I I I I have I think two bank accounts except the business accounts. If if I have thousand rand or one point two in my bank account, I become happy. I become excited. You know, I'm one person, I, I appreciate small things because I know good small things, they build up. They build up. Build, 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 build up. If I have 1,000 Rand in my bank account on, on, on the 15th, whereby I was paid, maybe at the time I was working, whereby I was paid last month on the 25th and it's the 15th of the following month, I still have 500 Rand or 1,000 Rand. It's a win-win situation for me. I have money. So we need to introduce ourselves not to be passages of money. Let, let's not be ATMs of money. Sometimes you are an ATM of your own money. You get money, you take it out. You get money, you take it out. Let's avoid that. Let's learn to keep money. Because if you're talking about in Silaya money, you are basically saying, I want this plant to be part and parcel of me. There's a smell of money. Money has its own smell. And imagine if ever you, 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 have, you always have money to such, an, to such a way that people see you as rich. Do you know these people that when you see them, when you say to them, oh, that guy has money. You know that thing when people they see you as as if you are loaded or what? It's because of you have a positive habit of what of keeping this thing in you, and it mustn't be just uh, uh, guys uh, uh, notes. 
even coins. I've said it earlier that if you go anywhere I am, there's always a coin, a one or two coin. I always have money with me. It, it's not a lot of money. It's not thousands and everything. But less now, I have 100 rand with me. And I'm not going to use this 100 rand until I have, I have another 100 rand. And sometimes I, I, I will enjoy just keeping Keeping, keeping, keeping. You know, you receive, you keep it. You receive, you keep it. You receive, you keep it. Sometimes I enjoy that. Because why? It's a good habit. Why? Because you are forming a relationship with money. So it's, in Silaimari, it's not only about umuti from a traditional healer. It's umuti that you have in your hands. You hear people say, I don't use umuti. If you love money, if you, you if you know that the importance of money and everything, money it's muti. Yes, you can say you're not using umuti uh, from a traditional healer, but you are using umuti from the reserve bank, maybe. Which is what? Which is iman. Money it's plant. A plant it's muti. Whether you want to accept now, you can go and argue with the uh, 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 minister of, uh, of finance. But all I'm saying, Obuti, we need to learn to keep money. And money attracts another money. You will never be rich or you'll never get to the point whereby you can say, now you can afford to do A, B, and C if you don't get to the habit of keeping money with you. Always have money with you. You will never regret it. You'll thank me later. You don't always need a traditional healer to, to, to do other things for us. Just keep what you have. Just sit on what you have and then you'll see what's going to happen tomorrow. Even if you don't have more money tomorrow, but you still have that 100 rand note. How's that? You'll find people saying, huh, you're smoking. Hey, uh, 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 how, many, uh, how much money are you burning every day and everything? Then you ask them, you don't smoke, but how much have you saved? Nothing. But imagine if you were to keep money and most importantly, forget about how people are spending their money. Forget about how people, other people are rich. Forget about how people, they get money. Who's um, that? Who's man, man, who's man, who's my boys and everything. No, it's not everybody or toilet and everything. Other people, they just have skill of what? Of saving, of keeping money. Because if you learn to sit on top of money, you will learn how to use it. Because you appreciate it. You, you now got into a, a, a stage in your life whereby you, you don't just appreciate money, but you respect money. So even your spendings, even your spendings are different. Because why? Because you know the value of money. You, you must look at people who, who are always doing shopping. You know, Usman Manu Holid is always doing shopping. You know, they've got 20 pairs of shoes, 100 pairs of shoes and everything. They don't wear them. You know, because that is money sitting there, but that you cannot reverse it and, 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 and have it as in hard cash. You, you've bought the shoes, maybe you wore them once and everything, then you're no longer interested. There are people who are boasting about having clothes with labels still and everything. I just buy and keep and everything. Imagine if you kept that money. You want to buy a, 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 a shirt. That shirt costs 1500 Then you said, no, 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 I don't need it now. Let me keep this 1500 and I'll decide tomorrow if I want this shirt or I don't. Then the following day, guess what? You still have 1500 the following month, what guess what? You still have one th that 1,500 that you saved from buying that shirt and more money. So I'm not saying which people must not buy what they want, but we need to learn how to keep money. You'll hear somebody saying, hey, Gogo, I'm broke. I don't know what to do, Gogo. Hey, Gogo, man, I don't know. He might have shall go and everything. But that person is wearing a, 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 a cap that costs 5,000 rand. He's wearing a, 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 a golf shirt uh, that cost uh, 3,000 rand. He's wearing shoes that cost 15,000 rand. Then you ask yourself, 
you ask yourself, you t- you're saying you don't have money, but you've spent what you have on things that are not important at that particular time. I'm not saying people, they must not wear their expensive clothes. You can wear your expensive clothes, but sometimes you need to weigh your life. Where is your life at that particular stage? I cannot afford to go and buy shoes that cost 10000 Mean I can't afford. Why, God? Because I have more pressing issues that needs money. I have more things that I can use that money on. Maybe after that, when I'm in a space whereby I'm comfortable, I've got enough money, and then I can spoil myself driving beautiful cars and, 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 and wearing expensive clothes. But at this moment, I personally cannot afford it. So what do I do? I have this hundred rand and I'm keeping it. In Zilaya Mia Mali, then I'm keeping it. And guess what? I know for sure because I have money. I have something. I am in the position to attract another money. And if I kept enough money, I always do what? Start a business. Because I, I, I have this hundred rand. I, I've done this from, from, from the very young age. I remember my father used to bring us a, a fish and chips on Fridays and, and, and fruits. Fruits and sweets will always be there. I won't eat mine. I will do small jobs in the house. I'll wash dishes on behalf of my elder brothers and everything. They'll pay me with a sweet, they'll pay me with money, or they'll pay me with a, a fruit. And then on Monday, I've got enough stock to go and sell at school because I always enjoyed to keep money with me. So that's why this video, it's black and white, because I'm taking you back with me. I'm saying, let's walk back with me so that you understand when I'm talking about Insile Mali, it's not something that I understand now as a traditional healer. It's something that I've learned long time ago. Yes, I wasn't perfect. Yes, I did mistakes as well. Yes, I went broke more than uh, donkey times and everything. But I knew the truth. Oguti, if I was disciplined enough back then in the 90s, I wouldn't be far money-wise. But I, 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 come with, I come from the family that was never literate when it comes to uh, finances. At home, there was never time at home whereby they say they're going to buy a grocery. They'll give you that one rent, you go and buy Norox. There are two in a box. Every day you go and buy Norox and everything. Uh, I started eating Kellogg's when I, when I, uh, I was joined independent newspapers in, in 1999. It, there's a lot of things that I grew up not knowing, but I always had a good feeling when I had money. So let's teach ourselves to keep money with us. Money is made from a plant, which is muti. So if we keep money, if we learn the habit of keeping money, trust me, You'll go to any traditional healer. They'll give you anything that has to do with luck. It will work. Why? Because you have laid the foundation of money. Money has a foundation with you. Sometimes people, they will come and say, Okay, you know, they'll pay. 20,000 depends uh, which is scope that they want. Go, I want a snake. Go, go, I want my boys. Go, I want that and everything. You give them that. Then they get money. But because of They don't have a foundation. They don't know how to keep money. They are rich today. They are poor tomorrow. Then somebody will come and say, Hey, Koko is in the same place. Hey, I'm going to go to Koko. I'm going to go to Koko. I'm going to go to everything. All and things that are not important. Money is gone. Koko, please revive me. Then it's difficult. Sarwa sendo to Koko. But I'm going to go to Koko. 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 799-5703. Today we were talking about in Mali. Learn to keep this thing in your life, guys. This is very, very, very important to learn. Please be careful of the schemas that I promise you. 
promising you money uh, today you sleep with money uh, with the, you sleep broke today tomorrow uh, uh, you, the suitcase will be full of money go and and cash your money from the bank and then we'll take that money uh, and and multiply it and everything guys don't be fooled don't be fooled let's learn the basics about money and you will never be broke again. Chao, Zan.